Hello everybody, this is my hobby room tour, it's September 2020 and I'll be moving pretty soon so I thought I might as well archive it. Starting from the side that is opposite from the door, looking at the side that is opposite the door should I say, is my computer setup as well as my Transformers display. You'll see on both sides of the computer there are two details that hold pretty much all of my Transformers. On top of the left side detail, I have Predaking, as well as Skylinks, as well as some of my favourite Generation 2 Bionicles, and my favourite uh, classic-esque sort of space set, the Benny spaceship, space spaceship from the Lego movie. Below that, we have the Autobot Masterpiece display. Basically, these are all of my masterpieces, including the uh, Earthrise, or was it Siege, should I say, uh, Jetfire, or, should, or Skyfire, it depends on who you ask. I prefer Jetfire, it's easier to say, but below that, we got the Decepticon masterpiece display. Uh, in there, we have... You can pretty much see we've got uh, Megatron, Shockwave, Soundwave, the first release of uh, Seeker's mold. And next to that we have the Make Toys Starscream, or the Make Toys Seeker mold, the earlier release of Make Toys Seeker molds, <laughs> back before I had a few more problems. Below that, we have some of the earlier Masterpiece releases, as well as some of my favourite uh, Legend Select figures as well. So you can see we've got the Overlord from Legend Select, as well in the very back there is the God, Bomber and Jinrai, with the upgrade sets on there. There is also a knockoff Masterpiece Bumblebee 1.0 in the bottom right. As well as the leftover cab section from the Legend Select Optimus Prime. Jinrai, should I say. <laughs> Next to that is the electric guitar. Now getting as low as possible, we have my selection of action figures. These are a mix of Star Wars Black Series as well as Marvel Legends and some larger game figures as well as the Mega Box uh, Spartan 2. And then next to that we got the Infinity Gauntlet as well as the Mark III helmet. Sorry, let's just say the Halo 3 uh, Master Chief helmet uh, from the Collector's Edition that I got on its own that I've hollowed out on the inside. That is the Mark VI armor to be precise. I'm moving back up to a more comfortable height, you can see I have my Generation 1 reissue Optimus Prime, which I've customised because I have a slightly better uh, knockoff recreation of the Generation 1 Optimus Prime with the box. So I decided to customise this one to make it look weathered and battle damaged. As you can see, I did a few different techniques on this one, uh, mainly just a little bit of dry brushing and uh, a bit of an ink wash on top and a little bit of a cracked windscreen. Nothing too special, but just something to make it look a little bit different from the original. In front of that is the MacBook 2019 edition, um, which has the touch bar and everything. Mainly use that as a second screen as I don't have a secondary monitor. Um, it can come in helpful if I'm trying to do something on, say, Discord while I'm trying to do something else on my main screen. In front of that, we've got a Rode microphone uh, with an Amazon Basic arm to hold that up and some Turtle Beach headphones. And then we have the AK Racing chair, and then in front of that, my keyboard and screen. Now down here on the bottom left of the screen next to the speaker is a uh, 
test tube vial mixer which I use for mixing my paints because I'm doing quite a bit of airbrushing and it's always important to have your paints very well mixed. The same for brush painting and this thing's very simple you just take a paint bottle with an agitator like a bead or a ball bearing in there and then the, you just press down and it basically spins a little disc which will of course mix up all the paint. Now on this side we have the Wacom Intuos touchpad which I can use for digital drawing with the mouse pad and everything. I uh, try cleaning this with some Say paint remover fluids because I accidentally got a little bit of paint on here and uh, it was a little bit too strong for the plastic and it's left this big mark. Now before we get to the next detolf we have my actual computer itself. Uh, at the moment it's got a 1080 um, just regular 1080 uh, GPU and uh, I'm looking forward to upgrading that pretty soon with the uh, either 3080 or 3070 probably not going to get the 3090 but we'll see and on top of the computer itself we've got the uh, SD CC uh, Iron Banner Saladin Ghost which lights up when you press on the eye and then next to that is the landing craft the Arcadia class uh, landing craft now on top of the right side detolf, we have the Ninjago Air Jitsu Temple set, which is one of my favourite LEGO sets of all time. We've got uh, Atheon, a lot of Skull Spiders, some of the masks from Generation 2 Barnacle, the Autobot badge which speaks when you press the button, as well as the Mega Bloks Mag Magitop. Magitop? Magi the fish. That turns into the big fish. And now we get into the first of the model kits. And here are some of the best of the best. Some of my favourite model kits of all time. We have the two of the best, in my opinion, Verkar kits. Being the Zaza B Verkar and the new Gundam Verkar. In front of that we have the real grade Zaza B and real grade new. And the high grade Zaza B and the high grade new also in there. And in front of all of that we have the G40 design and then just in front of all of that are some GoBots. Now hiding behind the acoustic guitar we have the Transformers Chug line. Basically my favourite or pretty much all of my Transformers Chug are in this side in this detail. You can pretty much see all the characters <laughs> I've chosen to get. I do have the uh, two leader scale Optimus and Ultima Optimus with their smaller sized evolution figures separated from them. Having moved the acoustic guitar out of the way, you can now see that these are my movie figures. We have two of the earlier Masterpiece figures, as well as some IDW model kits and the one Starscream from Chug, which I've moved the stickers and painted it up to make it look a little bit more nice and cohesive. And in front of all of that, we have my say the smallest size figures, um, the Micro Masters, the Battle Masters, even the Prime Masters there, and the Head Masters, all in that section. Like, well, you could call those Prime Masters and Pretenders, but, you know, whatever your preference is. Now, below all of that, we have some of the LEGO Ideas-LEGO Kusa sets. Uh, and behind that, we have the two of uh, my favourite LEGO Star Wars buildable figures. Uh, the, say, the Hero Factory, the Super Articulated Joint style ones. And there's also my custom Hulkbuster in the mix there. With the um, LEGO Ninjago newer Samurai X mech. I do have an even newer one from the Legacy sets, but it's a little bit small and that area is pretty crowded already, but um, it might change in the future. It's mostly mech focused now, but we'll see how it goes. Now before going to the opposite side of the room, this is 
my workspace area. So this is where I do all my painting, building, customizing, and uh, there's some newer things that I've done in here as well. Um, we'll take a closer look. Going from the right, we've got some of my uh, cotton swabs, uh, citadel paint, or water, brush cleaner. It's actually pretty helpful. Uh, I don't know if it's worth the price, but it, it helps get the bristles separated and everything. Have that with your brush soap of your choice, and it works pretty well. Got post-it notes, some harrows, some little Pokemon, some bear guys, uh, pencils and stuff, a mannequin with Dio's face on, the MP3 Sound Blaster in house sound wave, but I'm kind of glad I got Sound Blaster because I had the masterpiece sound wave, but whatever. <laughs> Um, and next to that we have some uh, paint stands, some paint bottle stands that I've made. Uh, this one on the right is uh, let's say MDF, or plywood sorry, and the one next to that is MDF. In front of that we have some of those amazing cats, which really hard to get hold of now, but I was happy when I got these. <laughs> I did do a little bit of paint work on them. Now, if we move these two Teletran ones here, you can see the other half of this table. Like I said before, this is the MDF paint stand holder, some Master Chief helmets from the 343 designs, one of them painted with a red stripe. My favourite Gundam in transformed mode is the uh, Zeta, uh, I've done weathering and stuff on. A uh, funny story behind that, you will see what I'm talking about in a minute and then next to that we have my current in process work where I'm airbrushing a legend select uh, god Jinrai with the gold bomber stuff on and everything and I'm gonna give that a nice metallic custom finish now under the table we've got my airbrush extractor fan all folded up the airbrush compressor and then we have a uh, medium dash large size diorama of all of my Halo <laughs> Mega Box Warhogs. There's one more on the way to add to that, but um that's pretty much it. Below that got some tools and stuff and all the way in the right corner is MP36 Megatron's gun accessories which I can never find a place to put them. <laughs> on the final stretch now, this is my model kits and some of my favourite LEGO kits here. Uh, so we've got some of the larger master grades, some advanced of Zeta on the left hand side. Uh, we've got the XS on the right hand side with the polyball and some of the uh, little pilots that come with it. I painted up. On the first shelf we have master grades. Pretty much uh, all of these are master grades apart from the high grade Atlas over there and the Harrows. Uh, we have some perfect grades in the middle as well. So, on the left hand side, you see I have some more Zetas. That's the reason why the Zeta you just previously saw was in its uh, Wave Rider mode. Because I had to take parts of that to fix the grey, ammo ray uh, Zeta that I got off Citrus. Uh, I was Bought that when he was doing the fundraising for Mr. Scissors for his uh, operation for his teeth. Um, got that with a picture of Mr. Scissors, and um, it nothing that was his fault. It was all completely sealed. Just when it came in and I put, tried to put it together, it was so old <laughs> that the plastic just crumbled in my hands, um, and I couldn't transform it. And it. I tried to recreate some of the parts out of resin, but because it was something that had to move a lot, uh, I wasn't able to fully recreate it. So I did end up buying another SATA kit. Thankfully I had enough left over to make a Wave Rider mode, and thankfully I love the SATA design, so I didn't feel too bad about that. But I'm um, really happy with that, how that came out. I do have one more SATA to get, which is the red like snake version from that one anniversary sort of animation. Once I get that, that'll be my Master Grade Zeta collection complete. Unless they release an extreme version of the Zeta or 3.0, but we'll just have to wait and see.
Now, in the middle, we have like two or three perfect grades. Third is the Ava Unit 1, which I've got set up in a single pose, and I'm probably not going to move it. But these are the other two perfect grades I have being the RX78 and the Zaku 2 Shards Custom version. In front of that, got the cage and, well not cage, an MS base cage, whatever you want to call it um, and then a small diorama with the Gym Sniper 1 Next to that, we have some, not advanced data, some Thunderbolt stuff that's pretty much all of my Thunderbolt stuff all together I uh, quite like that series, wish there was more hopefully there will be more one day um, maybe some more variety of different kits. I won the Master Grade Atlas very badly, but bit the bullet and bought the High Grade for now. Pretty happy with how it came out. Underneath the Thunderbolt stuff are all of my landing crafts, High Grade, 144 scale, real grade stuff, as well as the Perfect Grade and High Grade landing crafts. Now on the shelf below that, we have some more Master Grades. My Unicorn as well as Double O. And the turn A in the very back, you might not be able to see that though. We have pretty much all of, well, half of my high grades uh, with the Penelope and the Kasatcha repair type in the back there. And then further over in the right, we have all of my real grades. Uh, there's a mix of different series. We've got Double O, we've got UC, we've got Wing, pretty much anything that catches my eye. I get. There's also seed in the back there. You might not be able to see it though. Now on the bottom shelf here, we have my Gundam Seed Mask grades as well as the Destiny High Grade, which is great. Uh, some of the Gundam heads, uh, mostly the Zakus. I could get the one of the RX78 Origin version. Then further over to the right. Got the rest of my high grades, pretty much a mix of all series, mostly Universal Century though. And all the way in the right, got the huge 1100 uh, Nightingale with my I'm Blooded Dolphins kits. Most of, well, got two 1100 I'm Blooded Dolphins kits as well as three high grade I'm Blooded Dolphins kits, which are Brilliant. Now you probably saw it when I was going through the Gundams, but here is the Saturn V, as well as the uh, Moon Landing Craft kits. I'm gonna get the uh, USS Space Station to go with this. Don't quite have the space at the moment, but one day it will. Now above that, we have some posters. Above that is the perfect grade unit one which is looks nice but just don't touch it because of all those panels are just going to pop off you're just going to have to glue them back on and they're going to pop off again because you're trying to glue onto a flexible rubber surface and <sighs> only get this if you want to have the experience of something unique and old, it was the first to have a perfect grade that, that I made. Um, it's very interesting with the flexible pieces, I wouldn't stress them too much. Um, don't get it if you want something that can be posed a lot, get the new real grade. Uh, multiple different real grades, such as different units. Hopefully they will release real grades in the original TV series colours. If not, you're just going to have to paint the new real grades. But the rebuild colours aren't that bad. Now finally, the Iron Galahorn. So that is what this room looks like. Now it's not going to be like this for quite a while, as I'm going to be studying. And moving to a different location, which will have a lot less space. But hopefully one day, I can have something like this again. And maybe even bigger. I don't know, we'll see. That's it for now, see you in the future, Aussie Craft out.